Hey everybody and welcome back to Hatch 2.0. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery and today we're going to talk about red work. Now this is an image that I pulled up. It comes with Hatch so you can search in here in your managed designs and it should be in pictures and you can pull this up This is perfect for red work It's even red to show you that it's for red work and we're gonna do something really cool We are gonna use the new red work tool, but first let's talk about red work Many of you have seen red work designs and they look beautiful because they are beautiful however doing red work has some rules. Now the idea of red work is that it's an outline, but it's not just an outline. It is an outline that you go over twice, exactly twice. This is what makes the difference in red work is that it goes over itself twice, exactly twice. So normally when you're getting a, when you have a design like this and you're, you're doing red work, you want to plot it out and this can take a lot of time it takes a little while to get used to doing red work and you do get better at plotting everything out but it can take some time you do have to learn so that's one of the rules it has to go over twice now the next rule is red work is not filled stitches there's no fills you can use single run triple run, sculpture run, back stitch, and even stem stitch to make up your red work. That is, the, you know, proper red work. That is what it is. So it's made of those ones. I guess you could probably bend a little bit and put a motif, but it's not quite the same. So red work, black work, blue work, it's just the color of it, but that is the rules for this, the style. So on this one, instead of plotting out that I'm going to start here and I go here and back around and this is twice and then back here. You know, I would normally print this out and uh, it's good practice for plotting, but it is time consuming. So the rules for using this cool tool is that your lines have to touch or crossover for this to work. So you can go at the red work and just digitize. And I'm thinking it's really cool. You should actually try the freehand open shape if you have a pen to see how that works. Now I'm just holding down the left key to do that. And it's kind of hard to do with the mouse, but you can get used to it. That is a quick way of doing red work. It's just kind of tracing or we call it painting with thread, painting with stitches. So we're not going to do that today. We're going to do digitize open shape and we want to make sure it's on single run and this is what we're going to do. So I'm going to start here. Now I haven't plotted anything out. I'm not worried about it being too exact or anything but I'm just going to go here and I see this line here and I'm going to press enter and that's one. So before we put down our second one we have to make sure that they touch, intersect, or cross over. So if you start here, if you start on this part, then it's not enough. So you have to go back and just start here. But don't worry about going back over anything or doing anything. So I'll go here and I'm gonna do this here. And you guys be a little more precise than I am. Press enter. So again, we gotta make sure it crosses over. And I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna just quickly do this part because I think it's cool. And let's go back here. And we're gonna end off here, so press enter. Now we wanna cross over, remember, so we gotta do it that way. And you can see how easy it is to do without plotting. I think it's fantastic. And we're gonna cross over here too. Hatch is gonna calculate everything for us. So I've kind of digitized myself into a corner, but that's okay, we can figure it out. But definitely just make sure that's all you have to worry about instead of plotting. All you have to worry about is making sure things connect. So easy enough, you guys kind of get the idea of what we're doing here. So now I've got 
two pieces for it. Let's let's do a just a little bit more. And I'm just, you know, left clicking and right clicking on everything. So it's really easy to do. It's really easy. So let's go here. Let's go here. These would normally be kind of difficult to figure out because they would have to go back. So you'd almost have to digitize it twice. And we're not doing that. We are just putting down lines where we want. So easy and actually kind of fun as well. All right, I think we'll just do the spout part here and maybe to here. Let's see. Go around here. I could be doing I could be doing it a little bit nicer, but that's okay. There we go. I'm just trying to rush it out. Make sure everything touches and enter. So if you look over here into our sequence tab, you can see that we have a lot of pieces. So now that we have numbers, yay hatch, we can say that we have 11 pieces. How easy is that? Plus our picture. So we have 10 pieces. So what I want to do is make this into red work, proper red work. So I'm going to go to edit objects and you can see that it's right here. It's not highlighted. What you have to do is select all of your, actually let's get rid of the image here. Let's select all of our pieces. Select them all. So I'm just left clicking and dragging and I pulled out a bounding box. You could also click here and shift click to the bottom or you could also go to colors and you would just pick the color and you've selected the whole the whole thing so three ways of doing that now i'm going to click on my red work and the shortcut is control i and the only thing you have to do is pick a start and end point and they're both the same point so you only have to pick one now hatch just like that figured out the whole thing to make everything connect. Now, there's another thing I wanted to tell you guys about. Um, right now, this is in single run, but if you were selecting the whole thing and you want to change it to, say, backstitch or stem stitch even, uh, that's not too bad. So let's do backstitch. So the first pass on everything is still going to be a single run. The second pass is going to be whatever stitch you pick. So it's not two layers of scripture run or triple run, which is a bean stitch. It's only one. So let's see how this stitches out. Let's have a look at it and see. And it goes up and ah, oh, the plotting of this is fantastic. You guys won't believe how easy this is to do. And I love red work. I think red work looks very nice. Now you notice right here on the second path, it's now doing the back stitch. It's now doing the back stitch on this part too. So everything is consistent on it. There's a running stitch for the first pass. There is a back stitch for the second pass. How cool is that? I think that's fantastic. So I could speed it up a little bit so we could watch it. So it just ran down here and then it's doing the back stitch. And now it's back stitching here. What a lot of plotting that Hatch has done for us to make this so much easier to do. How cool is that? And it's doing everything. I didn't have to worry about anything. As long as all of your lines are touching and they cross over, you can make this work. So this is a huge time saver. It's going to save you guys a ton of time. Absolutely. Look how it left this spot here to do. Man, that is so awesome. So I'm going to encourage everyone to try some red work. How about some Halloween red work? Basically, if you can outline a picture, now you can do red work. So you don't have to have a line design or anything. Uh, I have a class with a pumpkin that we just, it's a photograph of a pumpkin and we just outlined it and it looks fantastic. So if you guys didn't notice, it started here and it stopped here and everything is perfect. So that is how you use this awesome red work tool here inside Hatch. Remember, there's a couple rules to it. There's no fill stitches for red work. It has to go over twice and it makes sure all your lines are crossed over. So hopefully you guys try some red work and let me know how you do. Please post your results, your trials, your stitch outs in the OML Embroidery University Facebook group and everybody 
nobody can see what you guys are doing. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.